Hey there and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is going to show you how to use a function in Excel called COUNTIF. It allows you to, for example, count the number of males in this particular data set or count the number of females uh, and so on. It's generally used for discrete variables, but you can also use it with ranges of data or greater than or less than symbols for more complicated formulas. This example is just an initial introductory example, so it's going to be very simple. We're just going to use COUNTIF for gender, and we're going to count how many males we have in this particular data set. So the COUNTIF function can be located in a couple of different ways. The nice thing about Excel is if you know the name of a function, you can click anywhere that's blank, type in an equal sign, which tells Excel that you're about to create some kind of function, and then you can start typing in the letter um, or the word that you think is your function. So I'm going to look for COUNTIF. I'm starting with a C, so it's already listed every function it has starting with C. If I continue, I'm already on my way to count, which will count the number of cells in any given range, which is a nice function as well. But I want count if, and that counts the number of cells within a range that meets a given criteria or condition. And that's what we're looking for. So if I double click the count if, it's looking for what's the range, in other words, what's all the data that you want me to look at, and what criteria are you interested in here? And I can use my mouse to define all these items, or I can type them in. I'm already ready to go with the range because it's got the COUNTIF there and it's got the parenthesis. So I'm going to use my mouse. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down. And I'm going to circle or encapsulate all of the data that I want it to look at. So this is all the data in my set under gender. I did not include gender because that's not part of the data. That's just a label. And you can see under it, it says E2 through E11. And I could have typed that in just as well. When I release the mouse button, it knows that I want to do that. It tells me you need a comma after range because it really tells you how to use the formula. So let me type that comma there. And now it wants the criteria. And if I'm not sure what that means, I can click it and read about it. Now my criteria are texts, they're not numbers. So I want male. I'm counting the number of males, and so I'm going to use a quote, a double quote, the word male. I'm going to end that quote, and then I'm going to put a parenthesis here. Then I'm going to press enter. So it went through the entire range of data that I asked it to go through, and it counted the number of males. One, two, three, four, and five. That's what count if does. And you can play around with all different things it does, and you could read more about it in Excel as well. But if you were trying to figure out how many male students you had in a data set, in this particular data set, you can see that I have 10 people. There's 10 people here. I know this goes to 11, but remember the first one, it's just a label. So 2 through 11 are my different peoples or my different students, whatever you want to call it. And out of them, five of them are male. And that's 50%. All right, that's an example of how to use COUNTIF to get the number of anything. Thanks for joining me.